Okay, lovely food tubers, now it's time to learn how to do the perfect steak ever in the whole wide world. It will change the way that you cook steak forever. No more tough steaks. These are the four conventional prime cuts of steak. The sirloin, 32 pound a kilo today. Ribeye, that's 32 pound a kilo as well. Fillet, that's the prize jewels, 54 pound a kilo. And here, rump is 25 pound a kilo. I have a little secret steak that I'd like to tell you is my favourite steak, better than all of those four prime cuts. This, my friend, is the feather blade steak, or the blade steak, or in America you'd call it the flat iron steak. Look at the fat marbling here, it's absolutely delicious. If you give me the fillet, I'll throw it back to you. You give me this, yes mother, that's what we're talking about. Come and have a look at this as well. £17.90 a kilo for really good quality beef, right? This is the blade. So it sits about here, like that. Moo. It's these hard sinews that kind of make this cut a little bit unfashionable. Once you've taken it out, you're left with the best steak ever. Any good butcher will do this for you. Phone them up, say I want a feather blade or a flat iron steak, they'll do it for you. We're gonna put a little bit of oil over the steak here. I've got a thick bottom pan on a very high heat. I'm gonna rub the steak all over with the oil, heavy on the pepper, heavy on the salt, Pat it in, salt and pepper on both sides. So we go to a pan, I'm gonna put just a little oil in here as well. I'm gonna go in with the steak. I'm just gonna wipe my hands. Also, very importantly, do not take your steak from the fridge and cook it. Take the steak out of the fridge for an hour before you use it, cover it, let it kind of get to room temperature. If it's screaming cold in the middle and screaming hot on the outside, it's gonna to toughen up, be horrible and fairly miserable. The flat iron steak really benefits from being cooked medium rare. I'm going to turn it once a minute, every minute. You want even cooking from both sides. So being equal with both sides keeps the moisture in the middle, which means when you rest it, it then comes back out again and gives you a beautiful, juicy steak. That's the way I do it. That's the way all my chefs do it. That's the way my steakhouse does it. And that's the way I think you should do it. The supermarkets around the world love to sell you a portion, kind of eight ounces. I would advise going to a butcher's and instead of getting a thin little centimetre steak, get a double steak. That will serve two people. That way you can create a really dark outside and it can still be medium rare in the middle. If it's half the size of that, whatever you do to it is going to be well done. It's almost impossible to cook to your liking. If you love food, get a double steak. Now there's a couple of little things you can do for a sort of beautiful natural flavour. My friend Adam Perry Lang, he used to like rubbing the steak as he turned it with a little garlic. It's very subtle. I actually really like that. Another thing that you can do is you can get a little butter. When you turn the steak and it's sizzling on top, get that butter and just put it on top, just like that. And that sweetness from the butter is really beautiful. And again, that's gonna add to that beautiful caramelization. And my last little trick is herbs. This is thyme, you could use rosemary, you could use oregano. What I do is go into this pan and just take that fat and just give it a ruddy good whipping and that will again put in beautiful flavour. Oh, I've cooked this now for about three minutes on each side. As soon as that comes off, you give it another little whip of the herbs. The juices are starting to come out. That's gorgeous, that's like a little free gravy just for you. Let it rest for two minutes. That method of cooking a steak applies to cooking over wood, charcoal and any of these classic prime cuts. Let's come back to the steak over here. i will cook this medium. Okay, which is the max you want to go. This is nice. My wife would love this. I would like it a little bit more bloody. Look at that. Feather blade steak, it's just a bomb. Not many people know about it, so it's super, super cool. Good quality extra virgin olive oil here. And if you shake it, it just marbles. That, my friends, will be the perfect steak. This was 17 pound a kilo instead of 54 pound a kilo for a fillet. Let's have a little try of this steak. So good. Mm. I prefer it to a fillet steak any time. I'll be happy to never ever have it again. That is where it's at. So there you go guys, that's the perfect steak. That's the feather blade steak or the flat iron steak. Amazing, go talk to your butcher. And don't forget, if you're gonna subscribe, please subscribe, but go to manage your subscriptions and click on email alert so we can let you know every time we do a new video. Thank you very much guys. Lots of love, Mr. Oliver. If you want to watch any more videos on meat, DJ Barbecue's your man. There's not much that boy can't do with a bit of meat and a log. <laughs>